showing part 3 of the MM03 common rail tester and we'll be showing how to test injectors on the bench in conjunction with a, a hand pump. Um, on the hand pump then you can also connect in a rail pressure sensor on the line and if you're using a rail pressure sensor you'll have to use a, a power, power supply unit uh, set to 5 volts supply to the rail pressure sensor and just a 12 volt battery to power up the MM03. Um, on the bench then we, we, we can drive the injector with the MM03 both coil and piezo. Um, and this so this will allow us to test the spray pattern, the injector opening pressure and also we can check the leak back rate. So we select injectors uh, coil or piezo, so the one we're testing is a coil uh, Bosch injector. Enter. So um, as you can see you can view you can view all this uh, via the, the PC if you're using the, the Bluetooth software. Um, so with the Bluetooth software then you, you you can view the pressure here, the pressure that we're reading from, from a rail sensor on the hand pump. You can insert the injector part number. Um, you can view the the pulse duration here, the frequency here. Um, then you can go to here. You can you can say you can say okay or not okay f for the test for the tightness test. Um, you can insert the opening pressure when when you test the injector and see what pressure it's opening at. You key it in here and say okay or not okay for the spray pattern. And so then you can print this, or save this to show to your customer. Um, also then here you have uh, information about how to test the injector so we're selected uh, coil injector test Bosch common rail so if we scroll down through the manual here it gives us information then about which cable to use um, and then it gives you kind of a, a test data for, for testing the injector so as you can see it t tells you here to, to do the flushing stage tightness test and the opening pressure test. Like for example, an opening pressure tells you bring it up to 200 bar, uh, one milliseconds, and set it to a frequency of one to three hertz, and test it for five seconds. Um, okay, so first we'll do we'll do the we'll do the we'll do the flush flushing stage. Um, so we're going to main injection. I uh, was telling us the part number of the rail pressure sensor to use on the hand pump, so that's that is the one we're using. Press enter. Now, so on the flushing stage, they're saying bring it to 300 bar opening frequency of one millisecond, which is okay, and we we'll bring it up to about 10 hertz. Okay, um, to start, then you just just press here. Just the the flush flushing stage, and it's just kind of priming out, prime, priming out, priming out the injector. Um, then you can also do a tightness tightness test. Um, so, like we said, you bring the pressure up to about 500 bar. The minimum pressure of 200 bar. Um, so you time how long it takes the pressure to drop from 500 to 200 bar. And it, it it should be a minimum of ten seconds. Um, then the next another test we can do then is the opening pressure, and um, we'll do this now. So we bring the uh, bring the pressure up to two hundred bar. The open the opening one millisecond. So we set to that, and the frequency of one to three hertz. So we'll adjust down the hertz. Three uh, three hertz. And do this for five seconds. So we press start. Yeah, going down this. So now we we'll pump, bring up the pressure slowly. To see when the injector opens. And as you can see, it's starting to open. Just at, at somewhere between a hundred and eighty to two hundred bar.
then another test we can do, we can just ch uh, check the spray pattern. <coughs> so if you can zoom in, zoom in on this. Um, that's it then, so we can fill in all the details of the injector here, part number and print it off. Um, like we said, then you have instructions for each type of injector. So this is the Bosch coil, coil injector. If we keep scrolling down, you have the Delphi injector. Test, test, test procedure for this. Uh, Denso, and test procedure for that. If we escape back and go to Piso, then it's showing a Bosch Piso injector. Test procedure, and it's showing you to use the trigger box. Uh, with, when, when testing the piezo injectors, um, then you have the Siemens piezo injector, and the test a test procedure for this also. So um, that's that's about it for them for today. And uh, thanks for viewing and keep an eye on our on our YouTube channel and our website <coughs> for other videos on this product.